Hi, this is Kez from Spiderweb Press. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your site title and your tagline so you can alter the fonts, the colors, the position, and the size to start to get a nice balance and presentation in your header area. Now, in the last video, we added this logo here, but it now doesn't quite balance with the size and the shape of this site title and tagline. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is show you how to edit what comes up here. Now the site title is actually drawn from your the site title that you set in your WordPress settings and this tagline is drawn directly from your WordPress tagline. So if we jump over into the admin panel, if you expand the settings and just go into general settings, you'll see here that you have your site title and your tagline field. So site title already says what I want it to say, but I could change that to, to anything that I want to have come up in my header. And the tagline, I'm going to change that to video training for the website Weaver. And save it. And now if I refresh on the front end, you'll see that that shows my new tagline. And the same thing will happen if I refresh the website weaver you have the tagline showing up here too so now the next thing that I want to do is switch these over to two different fonts so I've headed over to Google web fonts and I've picked out this font Anton that I want to use for the the uh, site title and I have picked out the Rini Beanie font that I want to use for the tagline so I'll show you how to get this Anton font into into your theme first. So this one's nice and easy because it's only a single word. So the font's called Anton, so you can just copy that name. And now I want to make that Google font available for use in my theme. So I expand the site back background and general options panel and we're going to expand select Google fonts to make available. So you have a, a few fonts that are previewed here for you, but you can also add in extras through this little field at the bottom here. Now in this case it's very easy just paste in Anton and as soon as I save that if I then use the Anton font anywhere in my theme it will be available for me. So I want to use Anton font here on my title. So I expand the header settings block expand this block because it includes the site title settings and here I'm going to replace Lobster with Anton. And now I'll save that. And now you can see the font has changed to the new Anton font. And the next thing I want to do, because this little looks a little bit small and pokey, I want to make that a bit bigger. So I'll just go back into that same er uh, settings area and I'm going to bump that up to say 60. Now that's starting to look a bit more balanced and I'm just going to move that into a new position and save and now so I can look at it in the front end I'm going to update the theme and there you can see the results now the next thing I want to do is change the color because I've got a nice blue and orange color scheme going on here I want to match that here so I use a an extension for, so I'm going to do this further over here so you can see, an extension for Firefox, one more time, called Colorzilla, and it gives you a really handy little color picker. So, you know, say you've had a, a logo created for you by a designer and you want to you want to get one of the, the color codes out of that logo, you just click the little eyedropper, and let's say I want to get a sample of this color, that now is the color code that I can use to achieve this blue. So I'm just going to copy that, go back into the title settings, and I'm just going to replace that code with the blue. And again, save it. And you can see now there, that's blue in the preview. So I'm now going to update the theme. And now we're starting to get some color consistency going on here. 
in the header. And the next thing I want to do is get my uh, tagline going. So I showed you before I had picked out the Reeny Beanie font. So I'm going to copy this name and we're going to go through much the same process again. So the first thing I want to do is make that font available for my theme to use. Now I don't want to mix up these font names together so that they look like a single font name. I need to separate them from one another. So you see here it tells you to put a little pipe symbol after each font name. So I'm going to put that font that's our pipe symbol after the first font name and paste that Reeny Beanie font name in. And here it also tells you that you need to use a plus sign instead of spaces. So I'm just going to replace that space with a plus sign. And I'm going to save. And now if I go into the same place and change Droid Sans under the tagline settings to Reeny Beanie and save. There you can see that the font is now applied to the tagline. Now obviously that's really tiny so again I'm going to bump the size up. 32, let's take it up to say 50. There we go, now that's starting to look good and I think I'm going to use the same blue colour so it kind of looks like it's been written with a biro with a blue ballpoint pen. So I'm just going to go back in the same place, just copy that code, and paste it in there, and save again. Yeah, there we go. Starting to look good. Save those settings and update the theme. And there you have the results starting to show up in the front end. Now there's one more thing that you need to do when you're going through this process is if you go back into the list of Google fonts that are available, this lobster font is the Google font that was being used before and it's set to be made available in the theme. But because we're not using it anymore, you want to switch that to leave out so that the theme isn't loading any extra fonts that it's not actually using. So we just save that and update the theme and that's it. And in the next video I'm going to show you how to replace this RSS icon with something that fits your design a little better. Thank you!